Uh, good morning, everybody. This morning, I have Molly here in my tub, and she is a senior little Bichon, and just had a little surgery to remove a growth on the back of her head. If you can see right there, I'll try to get this a little better for you. Anyway, I just want to show you um, how to use your Yuppie Puppy bath brush uh, to get the medicated shampoo that's going to soothe her skin. Um, she is a little dry and it's going to make her feel much relief. So, I'm going to get her wet really quick. Good girl, good girl. And go to town. All right. I already put a little Zymox shampoo into my research. You can see she's got little moles all over her, which is very common. Especially at your age, right, sis? Oh, good girl. Yes, you are. Good girl. I know. Yuppie Puppy Bath Brush out of my bleach water solution. Give it a rinse. And put eh, that much Zymox on it. Like that. Yes, you good girl. And just give it a gentle scrub. Let the bristles do the work. I'm hardly applying any pressure. Yeah. Look at going over the moles. Making sure I can get right down to the skin without making her bleed. Poor baby. Yes. I've got enough troubles. And a groomer making me feel worse. So, I'm going to give her a good scrubbing. Gentle scrubbing. Said, see, moles, moles. Just cleans them off real good. They need air to stay healthy. She's got quite a bit of matting, as you can see, on her legs. So part of what else I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, give her a wet shave down her legs. It's winter time here in Iowa. And she does not need to be any colder than she is. So I'm going to finish this up now. I'm going to let her soak in it for a Good, probably at least 10 minutes. Scrub her toes. All your hard to reach places that are just as important. Every little bit of her is just as important. Good girl, yeah. I'm gonna take my new little mini Yuppie Puppy bath brush. I'm gonna run it around her face. So I've got moles on my face too. You don't need to scrub hard. And you want the Zymox to go everywhere, you can get it. So you no longer with this brush have to kind of avoid the face because you can get right down to the skin everywhere because she needs it. Right, baby? Yeah, I know it. So there you see, look, I'm going right between the eyes, not bloody in a mole. Yeah, so, just wanted to show you how gentle it is. Like I said, the new little brush is a little bit stiffer and I'm that's the way I wanted it because I want to be able to get in all these crooks and crannies where her stitches are. I'm going to go around, look at that, I can even scrub a little bit if you go with the bristles this way, and it won't bother it a bit. She's getting her stitches removed Thursday, so that's nice and clean and healed up. Looks good, right sister? Scrub those toes. So I'm going to finish her up really quick and I'm going to give her a blow dry and I will Keep coming back and showing you results. 
See, again, not kidding. Won't even bloody the moles. Okay, I'm gonna pause. Okay, if you have not seen this, check this out. Look how many moles she's got. Zero bloody moles. leave-in conditioner, uh, can cream rinse um, that soothes and hydrates and relieves her dry, itchy skin. And look how soft and fluffy she is blowing out to be. I love it because it leaves like no buildup. The hair is so soft and fluffy.